Hey, how's it going? I'm Nick Gaska and welcome back to I Could Do That DIY for another doll repaint video. Today I'm going to be customizing Honey, the doll that I designed and created myself. Since it's currently spring, I've been outside a lot and enjoying the warmer weather. Working in my garden has made me want to do something floral and also something cute. So let's go ahead and make a pig. Pigs to me are super cute and I'm kind of obsessed with them. I mean, they're just so cute. Look at that face. They're my mom's favorite animal and I just had to make one into a doll. So let's add a pig to the honey family. Meet Honey Ham. As you can see, Honey Ham is an adorable pig version of Honey. She has cute pig ears and a pig nose. I also love her double chin. I think it's super adorable. I'm really happy with how her sculpt turned out. I custom mixed some resin and printed the body off screen. Here's how it looks all printed out. Pigs come in a bunch of colors, but I decided to go with the light pink. I'm going to go ahead and remove the head off screen and prep it with two layers of Mr. Super Clear. Alright, now that the face is all prepped, we can go ahead and get started. But first, let's give this snoot a little boop. Now let's get started with marking out the eye with my watercolor pencil. I'm going to draw the initial shape for the eyeliner and then fill it in. I'll do this on one side and do the same thing on the other side. While I do that, I just have to say thank you so much for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest projects. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram accounts. The Honey Doll Instagram will have updates on how to get your very own honey very soon. Alright, now that I've done both sides, I'm going to add some color to the face with some pastels. I'm going to use a pink pastel on the nose and the ears and the eyes. I also decided to shade the folds on the nose with the same pink pastel. Now I'm going to highlight with a white pastel. Alright, before I finish up this layer, I'm going to add some blush to the cheeks. Then on the next layer, using my black watercolor pencil, I'm going to fill in the eyeliner shape. After I do one side, I'll do the other side off screen. After that, I'm going to add some more color to the face with my red pastel. I'll be shading the inside of the nostril. After that, I'll use a pearlized mica powder to highlight the cheeks. On the next layer, using a watered down black acrylic paint, I'm going to paint over the black areas. This will make it really nice and opaque. As I was doing my research for this project, I realized that pigs don't really have bottom lashes. So once I finish this, the face up will be complete. And I'll be moving on to adding some upper eyelashes. For the upper eyelashes today, I'll be using Kiss brand So Real Eyelashes. These are super full. I'm just going to glue them on off screen. Alright, now let's add some gloss. I'll be glossing the eyes, the nostrils, and the lip. Now 
Okay, I'm just going to set this aside to dry and move on to making the eyes. For the eyes, I'll be painting them brown. I'll be using various tones of brown acrylic paint as well as white and black. I'll paint on the base and finish them up off screen. After that, I'll move on to the wig. For the wig, I've already prepped everything that I'll need. Here's the wig cap. As you can see, it's cut very high to compensate for the ears. It kind of looks funny right now, but I assure you it will be alright. Here's the hair we'll be using, it's a nice mauve color. I'll be gluing on with some quick dry tacky glue. I'll just cut off some hair and glue it on. The style we'll be doing today is of course pigtails. I'll start by gluing on the bang portion and work my way around the perimeter. As I work on the wig, I'll cut and style the hair as I go. Here's how it's looking so far. Now I'm just going to continue to build up the front. After the front is all done, I'll work on the part. I mark the position of the part off screen. Now I'm just going to glue some hair right down the center. I'll do one side and then do the other side. Once the glue is fully dried, we can finish up the wig. Off screen, I made some parting laps. I'm just going to glue them on each side of the part and style it. Alright, now let's move on to sewing. For the outfit today, I'm starting with this really pretty floral, and a bunch of pattern pieces that I mixed together. The bodice pattern is from Honey Red, the sleeve pattern is from Honey Yellow, and the skirt pattern is from Melanie the Watermelon Girl. I'm going to start by sewing the sleeve. The sleeve is actually in five parts. I'll start by sewing the sleeve panels together. After that, I'll hem the top and then gather the bottom. Then I'll attach it to the cuff. After I attach the sleeve to the cuff pattern, I'm going to finish the cuff. I'm going to fold it over and do the top stitch on the face to finish it. After that, I'll sew the underarm seam and flip it inside out. Alright, next I'll work on the bodice. For the bodice, I'll start by sewing the two bust starts. After I sew the bust starts, I'll finish the top edge with the facing.
After I finished the top edge of the bodice, I'm going to move on to sewing the skirt. Off screen, I already finished the bottom edge of the skirt with some fray check. Now we're going to gather the top edge and then attach it to the bodice. After I sew the waist seam, I'll press it and then sew center back closure off screen. Now let's make her a petticoat. I'm going to start by folding over a piece of tool and sewing a quarter inch channel at the top. After that, I'll sew the center back seam. Next, I'll pull through a piece of ribbon. This will act as a drawstring to finish the waist. After I weave it through, I can just pull it tight to cinch. Off screen, I added a lot of ribbon details. I added a giant bow at center front, a headband, and three bows to the wig. Now let's add some rhinestone earrings. I'm going to add two rhinestones on each ear. I'm just going to glue them on. Alright cool, that looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the shoes. I designed and 3D printed a set of floral heels. I also did a base coat of a black spray paint off screen. Now I'll be using various colors of acrylic paint to paint all the flowers. I'm going to try to mimic the colors in the print of the dress. Once everything is fully painted, I'll protect the paint job with some varnish. I'll do a few coats to make sure everything is fully protected. Then I'll finish the shoe with an ankle strap and a slide buckle. The finishing detail on the doll is going to be painting her nails black to match the outfit. Once all the nails are painted, I'll do a glossy top coat. And with that, the doll's complete. So here she is, here's the finished result. Oh my god, she's so cute! I love how she turned out, I think she's just so adorable. Of course, first of all to me, pigs are just inherently really cute, but I really love how the wig and the outfit turned out, as well as the shoes. I think it really ties everything together. As I was making the outfit, I was discussing it with my husband, and we were both saying how the print is very Anna Sui. And as soon as we said it, I just heard Anna Sui, so that's why I decided to name her. If you didn't know, that's actually how you call pigs. 
Zhang Sui. I also just really love Anna Sui as a designer and love her style. I really think this outfit kind of fits into that as well. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of Anna in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have any ideas for other dolls, I'd love to hear those too. Thank you so much for watching and for the rest of the video, enjoy the photos! Thank you so much for making to the end of the video. I just want to give a quick shout out to Barry from Dragon's Crafts on Instagram. They created this beautiful piece of artwork of the strawberry cow twin. Thank you so much for the fan art, it's super appreciated. If you're also inclined to make some fan art of one of my dolls, I'd love to see it, it's always super fun. And of course, thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!